Okay, everybody. I'm going to show you this little project I'm working on. I'm not exactly happy with the way it's working out right now, but i got to tell you some background here. So my daughter comes up to me, my lovely little Leah, the other day, and she says, Mommy told me to ask you this. Is it okay if I put some aluminum foil right in here so that the batteries can work? And I said, yeah, but why would you want to do that? And she showed me that when she put the battery in this way, which is obviously the wrong way, it didn't make good contact back here. And I said, but you don't put the batteries in this way, you put them in the other way. And she says, my friend who got it for me had it that way, and that's the way it worked. And so I started looking, and in here you can see the battery markings are the way that they're supposed to be now. Somehow this thing had been assembled with the springs on the wrong sides, so you had to put the batteries in the way that she had showed me that you had to put the batteries in. And I thought, well, that's crazy. So I took it up, and I brought it downstairs, and I desoldered the little tabs here, and and uh, moved them all around. And when I put it back together, it didn't work, and I had to apologize to my daughter for breaking her toy that she got for free, that she was already so in love with. And I felt bad. But, I also saw this as an opportunity, because I've always wanted to make one of these little fiber optic bushes, which is what this is, but for me to go and buy all the parts myself, especially these little fibers and the thing that i got to put it in and figure it all out, I was probably talking 40 or 50 bucks just for a little onesie. And here I have a little cheap Chinese piece of crap that probably cost a buck. And I had this circuit board laying around. And I had this connector laying around. And I had these wires laying around. And I had this uh, Atmel AVR AT Tiny 44A laying around. And so, and some resistors. So I took these three bright LEDs, a red, green, and a blue, off of the circuit board that was in here, which was a little tiny thing, about yay big, with a um, one of those little bug chips on it, glue, black, doppel things. And I decided, I just pulled them off, and I said, I'm going to make my own, because I've always kind of wanted to do this. So let me put the, right now the glue's still drying. I glued it down, but I'm going to reprogram this thing at least one more time, I think. And I'm also making solid models of this thing. They'll be available on GrabCAD when I get done with them. So let's snap the lid back on. And I'm going to drop the batteries in. And I know, I know, you're looking at my leg and you're not at all happy about it. Um... And then I'm going to turn off the lights in here. And we're going to see what this thing does now. So. Here's our fiber optic bush. You can see the blue, you can see the green, you can see the red over there on the other side. You can see some red and blue makes purple, and some green and blue makes I don't know what color that is. And down there in the middle where they're all mixing, it's kind of white. And over here between the green and red is whatever mixes some green and red. It's sort of some brown looking stuff. So all in all, kind of neat. But now we click the button. And it starts to flash. And then we click the button again. And I've got this thing set up where it just does a slow brighten and slow dim. And then this is the mode that's sort of broken right now and doesn't do what I want it to do. I'm having a hard time getting it things to reset. But or maybe that is the mode. Well that is this is the second mode. I skipped one and that so this one randomly, it uses a random number generator to choose which light's going to do what when. So this will just sit here and sort of randomly mix the colors as we go along. 
and we'll not see the same combination of things happen for a really long time. So that's kind of neat. And, whoops, there we go. There's the switch. Click the switch again. And now I call this the spin. It just kind of spins around the three LEDs. And that's that. So, and then one last click, and it goes to sleep. So that it saves battery power. And then we can click it again, and it comes back alive. Look at that. Blink. Dimming. Different dimming. Different dimming yet. And then the spin is what I call that. And back off. And so that's what it looks like there. And like I said, I've been working on doing the solid model for this. So when I get it all done, hopefully we'll be able to take it to somebody's 3D printer and have it printed. So that's it. Bye.